Welcome to P. Sam's Tinctures and Edibles Emporium. Today we're going to do just a little short video. I want to show you how we do a, a solvent transfer from Green Dragon to coconut oil. Right now I'm in the process of, of uh, concentrating my two ounces of Green Dragon down to one, one ounce so that I can make stronger stronger oil and then once I've got that finished then I'll show you how to do the solvent transfer it's pretty easy and as you can see the right there if the lights good enough that, uh, that is boiling away I'm sorry I don't know how the quality of this is going to be I'm in a new location now and I don't have my lights and everything set up it's just gonna be real quick just a, a little quick tutorial I'll be back okay I've got my Green Dragon um, evaporated, condensed, concentrated down, uh, concentrated in half, evaporated in half, from two ounces to approximately one ounce. And now, and the reason I did that, I wanted to concentrate it a little more because these are going to be going for for caps. For for um, I'm having back surgery on Monday, so I need you know strong caps. So this is the uh, the Green Dragon tested it at 30 milligrams per milliliter and so now that I've I've reduced it by half you know and you know that's going to make it about 60 milligrams per milliliter which uh, should be a, a a decent dose not not knock me out too much but but do the job you would uh, you wouldn't need to concentrate it that far you know if you were making edibles or or something like that the, the strength is up to you the you know, it will transfer whether it's Five milligrams per milliliter or 30 or 50 or 100 so anyway now I'm going to add I've, I've uh, measured out uh, an ounce of coconut oil virgin coconut oil here and I'm going to mix it in or add it to the GD okay this is the beginning of your solvent transfer okay now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to evaporate off that that alcohol which will leave behind your cannabinoids. So if the if this this GD is is 60 milligrams per milliliter and we add it to you know it's 30 milliliters and we add it to 30 milliliters of oil then that means your oil is going to be 60 milligrams per milliliter the the uh cannabinoids will will be left behind as the alcohol evaporates with with no damage to the terpenes no loss okay so the first thing we're going to do we're going to we're going to use the double boiler the water bath i guess we'll call it and when you're doing this you want to be sure that you have something on the bottom between the the jar and the bottom of the pot because as the water boils if you don't have anything on the bottom uh, air bubbles will will you know, get under the the jar and tip it over and that's not something you want so we're going to just put that in there move it over more towards the middle okay just like that now we want to i i let most of the water evaporate out while I was reducing the the alcohol so I'm going to add a little bit more water to it so just one moment okay I've added more water to the pot to the pan and you, you really want the level of the water to be up at least level with with the the volume in the jar or slightly higher and and try to keep it topped off you, know, you don't want to get to get too low and we're just going to let that boil and it need to come back up to, to uh, the heat again. And let's see if I can get some air. As you can see, there's, there's just a light shining off of it. I'm sorry I don't have better lighting here. But anyway, we're going to uh, let that heat up and, and let the, uh, the alcohol start reducing. And then I'll come back and show you what it's doing. Now, this process can be used for a number of things. It hasn't started, started boiling back there, but I wanted to come on and tell those of you who aren't familiar with my thread and know about um, solvent transfers that this is, is, is a way of cleaning up your, your edibles. You, you don't get that weedy 
old wet hay taste that you normally get when you when you directly extract from the material in, into your your butter or or oil or whatever it is you're you're extracting into. You can make honey honey with this process. It's very clean. It, it's 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 like using a, a concentrate before the concentrates you know were very popular. This is very similar. Similar. The green dragon is a concentrate, and at least, you know you don't have that chlorophyll. Even when if if you made your green dragon in a manner that that is used heat and it's got a bit of chlorophyll and things, you it still this still has an advantage because besides the taste, you'll still probably get a little of that chlorophyll taste with with the heated green dragon process. But you can concentrate. You're you're kind of limited. You know, if if you if you wanted to make a batch of butter, let's say, with seven grams of flour, okay, and and you're kind of limited, you know, to how strong you can make that. You know, you can maybe use a stick of butter, you know, and, and that's going, you know, may not really be enough to to cover, but it but it should just seven grams. But once you're finished with that extraction. There's no way you can make it stronger, you know. So, you know, you're you're kind of stuck with whatever you you got left. However, if you use a solvent transfer from Green Dragon to your butter or or whatever, you're able to concentrate your Green Dragon down to a strength that you like. You you can make yourself extra strong, and and then when you transfer it over you've got a, a much stronger product and I kind of get tongue-tied there but you know, I, I hope you get the picture you know so it, it, it's a much easier kind of thing there's no limits you could you can actually control your potency you know I I could have you know reduced this down to you know a half an ounce or I could have left it at, at two ounces and then you know transferred it to ounce um, two two ounces of butter, you know, and use that for, you know, some strong brownies or cookies or gummies or, or any of that sort of thing. And it's the way you concentrate it down. On Until concentrates came around, you really had no way to do that other than with this. So anyway, that's enough of my gabbing for now. We can see the water finally has started boiling again. So hopefully will the alcohol. Okay, there you can see, except for the water vapor, the alcohol is starting to boil off in, in, in the oil. You know, that will continue to do that until there's none left and the oil goes completely flat. It takes a little longer in a jar than it would, like in a double boiler with more surface area. But uh, we'll keep that going. Just wanted to let you see that. On, and by the way, you can hear the ventilation fan. You can hear the ventilation fan in the background. I had my hand over the microphone all that time, so I, I hope you heard all that. So I'll I'll repeat it. As you can see, there's the the alcohol boiling off in the uh, in the oil, and once that oil is reduced, you know, is once the, the bubbles stop, then the then the uh, alcohol is gone, and and there's just oil left, and it will that will flatten out. And as I was beginning to say, when I noticed I had my hand over the microphone, is that be sure to have ventilation on while you're doing this. You can hear my ventilation fan in the background. Anyway, that's it for this segment. Okay, and here we are a little later, and I just wanted to show you if I can get enough light down on here that the, uh, the oil and the alcohol is bubbling, bubbling away now. And it really, it's been about a half an hour, you know, so... Uh, could be another half hour, could be an hour, we'll see. But I just wanted to let you see that. Okay, it's been about an hour since I, I started uh, reducing it, doing the starting the transfer. And as you can see, it's, it's nearly finished. Uh, we need to get it down to the 30 milliliter line. And uh, by that point, the alcohol will be, uh, will be done. There should be no more bubbles coming out of it. I just want to do uh, update you with this, and when it gets down to 30 milliliters and all the alcohol is finished, then I'll be back. 
Okay, now we've finished our uh, solvent transfer. And it looks like I must have put in maybe a couple of milliliters more of, uh, of coconut oil than I expected because this is as low as it gets. So it's no, no big thing. So maybe 31, 32 milliliters instead of 30. But it's all oil. There's no alcohol left in it at all whatsoever. Nice shiny oil. Now it's at this point that if you wanted to use lecithin, you would now add it and heat it until it blended in. And then you're all finished. As you can see, this is our this is our oil. It's coconut oil. Let me get that up there for you. Let's see if we can get a good light on it. And this coconut oil is 60 milligrams per milliliter. That's pretty darn good. And what that means is that this little bit of oil has got 1,800 milligrams of cannabinoids in it. Now remember, our, uh, our initial green dragon was 30 milligrams per milliliter. Okay, and at 30 milliliters per ounce, that made it 900 milligrams per ounce. Okay, now I took two of those ounces and I reduced it down to one, which in turn made my tincture, my GD, 60 milligrams per milliliter. And since I had 30 milliliters, actually 31 or 32 by the looks of it here. We'll just go ahead and say 30 milliliters. For the, for the ounce, it's 1,800, two times 900 milligrams. So if you wanted to make a batch of cookies, brownies, or anything with this, they would be potent. You know what your, what your concentration is. And then you're be you you're able to figure out your dosing, almost right to the money. So that's a solvent transfer. It's not not really hard. This took all of uh, an hour and a half, from start to finish. You know, and and it's pretty simple. You you can make it quicker if you were to to use a, a double boiler, a, a, a stainless steel or glass bowl over over a pan of boiling water that because you've got more surface area it would go quicker uh, usually in just a matter of a few minutes but this is the way it goes you know you can you can do this for how you know as little or as much as you want it's a very good way to make your oil your butter your honey your agave nectar uh infuse your your, your cocoa butter for chocolate Oh, just any any number of things. So that's it from here. And this is P. Sam. Thank you. And have a good night. And by the way, this is happens to be Thanksgiving. So I hope you've had a good Thanksgiving. Toodaloo.